what do you do when you go for a job interview and the interviewer of the opposite gender takes out her hand for a handshake? What do you do when you are a new Muslim and your family does not support your faith? What do you do when you are being asked to support political ideologies that will ask you to distort your faith but will also fight Islamophobia? We can find the answer to all this by looking at three stories from the era of the Prophet Muhammad The first story teaches us when to compromise and the second and the third story teach us when not to compromise. So, when do we compromise? For this, we need to take a look at the incident of Hudaybiyah. It's a very interesting story. The Prophet of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, saw a dream in which he and the companions were entering Mecca and performing the Umrah pilgrimage. The companions instantly got excited. The dreams of a prophet are revelation. And many of them were refugees from Mecca and they hadn't been home for around six years. So they were really excited to go back. And the Quraysh had a principle in which they would never prevent people from performing any type of pilgrimage. However, when the Muslims progressed and they got close to Mecca, they found that the Quraysh army had brought together many different tribes in order to stop the Muslims. And at this occasion, the Prophet of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, decided to make an agreement. The Muslims around him thought it was really, really unfair. But the Prophet uttered a statement that will become the golden rule for us in this matter. He said, وَالَّذِي نَفْسِي بِيَدِي لَا يَسْأَلُونَنِي خُطَّةً يُعَذِّمُونَ فِيهِ حُرُمَاتِ اللَّهِ إِلَّا أَعْطَيْتُهُمْ إِيَّاهَا By the oath of that Allah that possesses my soul, I will give them everything that they ask for. As long as they take in consideration the rules of Allah within this deal. So for this we learn that as a Muslim, we are willing to compromise anything. We are willing to work with the people around us as minorities as long as they don't ask us to compromise our faith. Well, when should we not compromise? We understand this from the story behind Surah Al-Kafirun. You know, we're all aware that life in Mecca was difficult for the Muslims. Muslims had to worship in secret. They were tortured, some were even killed just because of their faith. And finally, they came to the Prophet of Allah with some propositions, the last of which was they told the Prophet of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, that why don't we make an agreement? We'll leave you alone. We'll stop torturing you. And what you have to do is worship our gods for a year and we'll worship your God for a year. And that way we'll just go back and forth. The Prophet of Allah وسلم, was instructed to answer by Allah, قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الْكَافِرُونَ Say, O disbelievers, لَا أَعْبُدُ مَا تَعْبُدُونَ I don't worship what you worship. وَلَا أَنْتُمْ عَابِدُونَ مَا أَعْبُدُ And you don't worship what I worship. وَلَا أَنَا عَابِدٌ مَا عَبَدْتُمْ And I'm not going to worship what you worship. As you proposed in your agreement, وَلَا أَنْتُمْ عَابِدُونَ مَا أَعْبُدْ And you're not going to worship what I worship. لَكُمْ دِينُكُمْ وَلِيَدِينَ For you is your religion and for me is mine. Or according to another translation, you will be compensated for what you do 
and I will be compensated for whatever I do. So from this we understand that when we are being asked to compromise our faith, we don't back down. The second story that helps us understand this is when the the second story that helps us understand this is that when the Muslims were persecuted too much, the Prophet allowed some of them to escape to Ethiopia. The Quraysh followed them and brought them before the Christian king, Najashi. May Allah be pleased with him. And Najashi decided to give them amnesty. The next day the Quraysh went back to him and told him that these Muslims, they don't consider Jesus to be God. Call them back and ask them about their faith in Jesus. Najashi called them. And when the Muslims received the call letter, they started freaking out. They said, what are we going to tell the king? You all know that he believes that Jesus is God. He is going to, and we believe that he is a human being. He is definitely going to hand us over to the Quraysh. But the Muslims, in their opinion, they said no. We نَقُولُ بِمَا جَاءَ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ We're going to say whatever Allah and His Prophet has told us. We're not going to lie. We're not going to compromise. And the Muslims went back. And they stood for what they believed in. Until Najashi himself saw the light. And he became Muslim. And he gave them amnesty. This is what it requires from us as Muslims, as a minority. We love the people around us. We work with the people around us. And we compromise and we give up anything that we have to. But we're not willing to compromise our faith. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.